miracle of his resurrection. Right. Don't, 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 don't you know that the miracle of his birth and the miracle of his resurrection are, are end up dealing in politics? That's why he starts with the Caesar. That's why he tells us who from us was above us to make us kiss the boys. Because this, don't let anybody tell you this is not a political document. They haven't read their Bible. Don't get mad at them, just understand it. They haven't read their Bible. And, and, and such that they refuse the way and the word of the Lord. They're not the only one. There's a fellow in the White House who, who when he was asked what was his favorite book of the Bible, he said, two Corinthians. <laughs> Now, now watch it, because I, I want to throw this back politically. See, I want you to pay attention to the two Corinthians guy and some of what two Corinthians guy has done. The United States, this is federal government stuff. The United States of America has 800 military bases in 70 nations across the world. This year, the fella in the White House right now signed the 2019 budget, and the defense budget is 686 billion dollars. 671 is the base and 69 billion, 69 billion has been put aside, set aside to fund war. Stay with me, stay with me. The education budget, the education, is there anybody teaching in here? I, 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 I want, does anybody teach in here? Anybody good at teaching? I just want you to, 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 to get a sense of how it is, why it is, your salary is low. How it is, why it is, you don't get certain things for your school. How it is, why it is, your kids, our kids, my kids, have to get loans to go to school. But there ain't no loans to build no bonds. The education budget is 63 point two billion and that is a 3.7 billion dollar decrease who believes that it's better to spend 10 times more money to liquidate in war than to educate for peace who believes that, that who is it that thinks that putting young lives on the line is a greater defense of this country than putting information in your minds is this the way of the lord no, no. Not just that. Can I go? Can I come a little closer? Come on. Look at the runoff election. The Secretary of State of America, Brad Reffensburg, plans to continue voter registration cancellations. Voter fraud, according to all statisticians, is rare, infinitesimal in Georgia. But he and Governor-elect Kemp want to keep access to voting more difficult. Now, who is to say that this will not devolve into poll taxes, literacy tests, and other ways to keep people from voting? Who is to say that laws will not be used to crush democracy and elevate racist elitism? Is this the way of the law? No. Oh, stay with me. Can I get closer? Look at the United Methodist Church. Well, uh, be careful. Our church in February is going to St. Louis. They have already spent millions of dollars. We're going to spend millions more dollars to legislate ordination and marriage in the church about LGBTQIA persons. The subject of law enforcement murders is never touched, never preached about. The deadly nature of white supremacy, racism, and white privilege, the attacks on immigrants of color, the right of black people to exist is not an agenda item. How can we believe that the privileges of ordination and marriage are more important than the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness of black people? How can anybody devalue black life by this society to argue over who sleeps with whom? Oh, don't, 
don't, don't, don't get bored with me. That just, it just, let me say this to you. I guarantee you, take this to the bank. Ross said it, and I guarantee you, whatever the vote is in February, when March comes, I bet you this, you didn't know this, I bet you this. People will sleep with who they want to sleep with. I'm not supposed to bet. I know I'm not supposed to make a wager. But if you believe that on, in March, after we met in February, that people are not going to sleep where they want to sleep, do what they want to do, with whom they want to do it, come and see me and I'll buy you a Starbucks cup of coffee. All over the state, all over 
this nation, my nation, to the brothers. We must speak God's love, share God's love, show God's justice, and live God's justice. Our work has not ended. It has just begun. We must register some more people to vote. We must show up in more public meetings. We must be informed more on the issue. We must get people who have justice and compassion in their hearts, who have integrity and love in their character, and we must get them to run for office. We must get them into office. And we must support them and make them accountable to us while they are in office. That is federal and state. That is city and county. That is the annual conference. All right. And the local church. The kingdom does not come with an election or an appointment. God's word has to be manifested. The reign of God will not come with an annual conference, district conference, charge conference, or general conference. God's word has to show up. The word has to come down. The word has to come forth. The word has to be spoken. The word has to be preached. We've got to know that position does not mean 